Good day, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is Digital One, EET 121. Today we're going to discuss the sum of products, or the SOP. You've seen this in Lab 3, I believe. Okay, sum of products. All this is, well, what is a product? It's basically the Boolean multiplication. If we remember, a Boolean multiplication is just an example, A and B. A and not B and C. Uh, you can also have a single term, just C. So that's a product, 1 and C. It's equal to C. So what's a sum? Well, Boolean addition. And all that is is the sum of products. You're taking A and B, summing it with the next product term, summing it with the next one. Okay, so you're summing all the individual all, all the individual products. Not mystery here. Okay. The standard form for the sum of products is basically a single negation over bar cannot extend over more than one variable. Okay? So what that means, this is the single negation bar. It's extending over a number of variables. That, that's not admissible for a sum of products. What is allowed, though, is the De Morgan's equivalent of that. OK, so each individual variable uh, may be complemented. You know, this is, this is also acceptable, where not A and not B and C. OK, that's, that's permissible. Um, what is the domain of a sum of products? It's the variables that make it up. So it's the domain of a sum of products is the uh, variables that make it up. In this example, A not B and C. Or C, D, not E. What's the domain? A, B, C, D, E. Yeah, again, not nothing earth shattering there. OK, uh, how does the sum of products look in a circuit? Well, it's the sum of the products. Yeah, so think about sum is our or, and our products are our ands. So for three terms, three products, that's the products, that's the sum. It's a single sum gate, but there's a number of products coming into it. You could have 10, 10 product terms. They're all summing together. So uh, let's put, um, let's just have an example where we just get to some random, random expression, and we want to make the sum of products of it. OK, here's the expression right here. And there we go. And that is not in standard sum of products form because look at this here. That's a product term. And we've got this thing here where there is a uh, negation bar extending over two variables. So let's use De Morgan's theorem on this one. And we've got to get rid of that and right there. So how do we do it? We're just going to have to do the, the superfoil method, where not A or not B is multiplied by every single one of those terms there. This guy's good. Don't, don't worry about this guy. So what is that? And then our B term. Yeah, this is long. I'm running out of room here. One moment. Where was I? Not B, not C. So not B, not A. And then you've got to go ahead and uh, sum, uh, excuse me, uh, 
simplify this thing here a little bit because where is one second okay here we go so not a and not a that's equivalent to just not a what is this guy equivalent to not b and b that's a zero and what is this guy equivalent to not b so we've simplified that a little bit And do we have any like terms? It looks like, yes, we do this guy and that guy. Because remember, A or A, what do you get there? You get A. So we can get rid of one of those guys. And what it looks like is this. There you go. OK. So yes, it seems like we're over complicating things here but trust me guys this is this is leading up into something here but um look what's going on here this is a sum 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 of product 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 there we go sum of products okay so let's move on here now a standard sop expression includes product terms for all variables in the domain OK, because now check this one out here. A, not B, C, 